Hello, welcome to my channel. I am Moha. I'm a junior doctor. And um, first of all, I do need to say that I've been vlogging my med school experience. I actually have not been vlogging since interim that well. And that's because I found out that um, the rotation I got through Oriel was changed um, without me knowing and it was changed locally so I was allocated a program uh, which include paediatrics which I really really wanted to try um, and um, just locally once like the dean just decided to give me another rotation and somebody else got the rotations that I got allocated um, yeah so don't really know why but we move you know we have to because there's nothing that they can apparently do so I have a new set of rotation so this time I am doing start on breast surgery although the, the hospital is quite small so there's not much breast surgery going on so it's more like general surgery um, so it's general surgery cardiology um, geriatrics gastro GP and obs and gynae. So those are my rotations for foundation program and that's also okay and um, I am enjoying the surgical uh, placement at the moment. I have had three days so far so we had one week of shadowing and that's before a week before we officially start as F1 foundation year one doctors. Uh, on the first day I was in a seemingly quiet ward um, but things kicked off within an hour and I was the only doctor in the ward Could, couldn't reach my seniors and I had to manage an acutely ill patient um, on my own well with a nurse uh who was amazing and really really super helpful and um we got through it together until the senior uh doctors of uh, sorry surgeons have arrived second day um because i'm on a clean ward i got to assist in surgery which is fantastic i'm so happy so normally as you might have seen like during med school find it difficult to scrub in as a HRB like there's always difficult to find there's always surgical caps of course but there's ortho hoods so these are the ones that kind of cover your neck um, as well as your head and they are not as available uh, in all hospitals as one would like it to be and um, but for this hospital I just kind of asked the nurse like you know where do I change and also do you have scrub hats and she gave me the normal one first and I was like no one for my to replace my hijab and she gave me like a another one again but my neck was exposed so I just said to her do you have ortho hoods the ones that also cover my neck and she was like oh let me go and have a look and I got it so I was able to scrub in which meant I was able to assist which is fantastic um so it was a um direct uh, inguinal hernia repair so I practiced the day before, revised my anatomy and notes and um, and also practiced suturing. Um, so that was a good experience. I got to suture and uh, yeah, loved it. And today, so the why, the reason I'm vlogging, I'm like three minutes later. So the reason I'm vlogging is that I'm doing a weekend on call and obviously, you know, I have not done it before and nobody else in my F1 group have done it before because I'm the... I've been given the first weekend on call as an F1. So in addition to that, uh, after the weekend on call, I'll be also going on as normal for the, for the following five days. So I'm actually doing 65 hours in seven days. And I've never worked 65 hours as a like as in, in a job maybe as a student when we study like it's non-stop but not really uh, you know not as as part, I haven't done it as a job and I suppose that's something normal for doctors to do uh, in my rotor there were I think five of these but I, for the rest so this is the first one but the, for the rest of them I kind of blocked off my annual using my annual leave um but for this one I thought let's just try if I can do it can I make it can I do 65 hours in seven days uh and do it well and do it without getting exhausted you know, um, yeah, so I rested yesterday. So anyway, today's day one. I'll let you know how it goes by the end of the day. Um, I'm not going to say much. I'm just going to summarise it because who knows, I might be exhausted. I don't think there's nothing nothing else for me to say. Um, this is my bleep. Uh, it's my new boss, really. You know, wherever it tells me to go, I go. Um, that's me. It's that time of the year it was worth the wait. Um, so yesterday I wanted to vlog but I kind of was tired and I looked like a sedate <laughs> and my phone was dying anyway so yesterday was like I can't I don't want to say it's okay because it was quite intense um f1 I would describe it as as an 
a mini assault course. The day was extremely busy. I think figuring out how things work initially takes a lot of time. And, um, you know, not only as the junior, I would have to prepare the list, the patient list, print it out beforehand, which is fine. Um, but then later on, you need to update the list and um, for all the wards uh, regarding, you know, the patients um, under that consultant on call. And that can take a time. Yeah, that can take some time. And I, I think, underestimated um, how much time it takes. You know, after f my first day, I had a patient who was unwell and a couple of TTAs to do. And that was that was OK, but it was quite hectic. And it was primarily because of that unwell patient, because that, that took a lot of time. And yesterday, there were so many things to do, you know, discharging letters, uh, imaging, ordering blood, blah, 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 doing all that no acutely ill patients which was fantastic but i just wonder how would i have managed if i had an acutely in uh, acutely ill patients a patient on top of that um obviously i would have had to drop everything else and prioritize them but i think it would have been i think it would have made my other colleagues probably more uh agitated and perhaps patients as well because especially the patients who wants to go ho want to go home and you know the nurses get the pressure for that and they want me to do the discharge papers as soon as possible but um I don't know there's just one of me so it was interesting um I think the way I would describe F1 is that it's a it's a mini assault course. I remember seeing a tweet a couple of months ago and he said, completed F1, <laughs> one out of 10 would not recommend. And I found it so funny at the time. And even now I'm just like, oh yeah, like I can, well, I could p potentially see where he's coming from. Alive. <laughs> I went into theatres, we had a little break until the, sec the other case, uh, so I went back on the ward. The second case was cancelled, so I've come down to get my stuff. I left my stethoscope and card, staff card, in the theatres and I walked into the wrong section, wrong department. Instead of the main theatres, I'm in the day, su day surgery and obviously it's 10pm so the whole place is closed and I'm locked in. I'm going to wait for security to come and get me. I've called them. And yeah, that's 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 the update. That's how my second day otherwise was really good. I'm struggling to talk about it right now because I'm really annoyed. <laughs> but it was a really good day. Okay, I feel good. It's day three. Um, we can on call. We have survived it, which is great. Um, and basically, I'll be doing Monday to Friday, eight to four. And uh, I actually feel all right. I left around ten o'clock yesterday, ten p.m. So I, I've done a little bit more, but that's because I think as as a beginner's. Um, as beginners, we tend to be a little bit slow when it comes to doing our jobs, I suppose, and uh, prioritising things like that. So I think it's just practising that and doing it properly. Um, yeah, so I think it, I, I think I'll put it down to that. And obviously I scrubbed into theatres as well. So hopefully next month when I do the on-call again, I will be a lot quicker and slicker <laughs> and it won't get lost either. I think I slept for like 11 hours so I feel good and I feel like I can do the rest four days oh and by the way I forgot to uh, I forgot to say um I noticed this during interim anyway my stethoscope has not touched a person I think maybe it touched a person maybe once over the past week and it was very similar when I was doing the interim and I just quickly started to realize that f1 is more about uh paperwork and admin work and getting making the plans of the doctors, the proper doctors, making it a reality, I suppose. I think it's more about learning the, how the system works, how NHS works and how patient care, uh, like different aspects of it is done because we're the ones doing it, right? So yeah, we're just learning how to do that when it comes to referrals and blood forms and all those kind of things. Morning, it's me again. It's day five. Goal for today is enjoy it. Um, yeah, enjoy it and that's it really. The whole goal, whole, whole F1 is to enjoy F1 and learn how to be a doctor. So that's going to be uh, the goal today as well.
Hello, morning. It is day six and I feel exhausted. Uh, yeah. Okay, hello everyone. It's day six, end of day six. I feel good. I still feel good. I had a lot of, lots of coffee. We had teaching today, which was great. I love when there's some sort of teaching. Um, instead of, it was quite surgical this time, whereas last time was a little bit more about ethics, which is important. Um, but in terms of medical content, like surgical presentations and how to manage complications. So that was really good. I enjoyed it. Um, day was quite busy today, but we got through it in the end. Yes, I am leaving a little late. It's about half four, but it's so much better than before. And yeah, tomorrow is the last day. I've done about 70 hours by the end of tomorrow. And I feel all right, which is good. Oh, also one really cool thing. Um, I have a case to present at some point. A consultant has given me uh, a case to present and to do research into, which is really cool. And it's in, it's under endocrinology, which is what I'm interested in anyway. So that's nice. Um, yeah, that's the update. I'm alive. I'm more than alive. It is doable. Yeah, I think I feel good. I think yesterday, taking the time off yesterday evening, despite me sleeping really late, watching comedy and just doing what I normally do uh, was helped a lot, helped a lot to kind of uh, get over the fact that I was in a building, you know, hospital for several days straight and pretty much my life was around medicine. So yeah, anyway, I'm going to get going so I can go home and enjoy life. See you guys later. Bye. All right, last day, seventh day of my seven day stint. I woke up to the tune of Staying alive, because I feel like that's a theme for F1. But yeah, seven out of seven, let's see how it goes. Bye. That's it, seven out of seven days done. My 70th hour as an F1 answer done, and I feel good. I'm gonna chill this evening. I'm gonna have a good Saturday. I'm gonna have a great Sunday. It's actually doable. Um, I would say Saturday and Sunday, especially being the first F1 who's doing the weekend on call that was tough because a lot of the things we didn't know in terms of like how to operate the systems and how to do some of the jobs um I would say that was probably the toughest and Monday was tough only because we had just done two long days so to come back the next morning was quite difficult so what I've done for the future similar stints I've just taken Monday off I've blocked that so that doesn't happen again but actually it was doable, I am proud of myself and I can go home now and enjoy life. In reality, I'm probably gonna Waiting do some- Waiting for pairing. I'm probably gonna do some research tomorrow and apply for masters, but let's pretend I'm not doing that. <laughs> anyway, that's all that. Um, I shall see you guys later.